All right, three, two, one, go! Oh, I did it, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, all right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Diggy Nine Show. Today, we are going to be talking about our tattoos, why we got them, and, you know, just the stories behind them and, and all that stuff. We're joined by good buddy Zesty and good buddy Kyle. So and uh, Kyle has done a few of my tattoos, so I figured... What more suitable than to have him on for this episode? Let's get it. So I'll start uh, the tattoo on my arm that will appear so magically on the screen right before you uh, of Calvin and Hobbes. I got this one because my brother uh, and I grew up reading Calvin and Hobbes, obviously a lot. We really loved it, and he got one the exact same tattoo on his right arm. So I figured it was kind of cool, you know, have kind of a, a a brother piece, you know, a little bonding tattoo. Um, so not much, too much to say about that one. I, that was a couple years ago, I think. Yeah, I think it was like two years ago. Me and my brother have a matching one too, so it's cool. Oh, that's sick, yeah. yeah. Um, Are you his brother? I'll be brothers. <laughs> was that a hog I'll be brothers? I never oh, knew. Oh, what was that? Whoa, he had that giant lightning work? <laughs> essentially like a deep equivalent of Oh, wait, you can shoot stuff. I forgot about Able. that. Yeah. Okay, that, oh my god, I just put myself up. All right, Dicky. Uh, do you want to? Oh, Miargo next. Miargo next. Talk about tattoo. I am stuck, dude. What is happening? Uh, okay, so I I went to a tattoo shop that was also a skate shop that had a, like a skate ramp in the back and That's shit. That's pretty sick. And the tattoo artists were just like clearly <laughs> just didn't give a fuck that they were being underpaid or some shit. Uh, and this girl that I got, she charged uh, time based not by the piece and I was getting a little Gunter from Adventure Time uh -huh. wearing the Ice King's uh, crown on his head right and it's really small like it's black and uh, yellow and a tiny amount of red for the crown oh, damn, no way. and uh, she made the tattoo take like two hours uh, and charged me like two hundred dollars for it it was like this tiny little oh, wow. Gunter Goodness. bird and she kept taking breaks in between to answer her phone, and she had like full-on conversations with people. Oh my just where she would just take, just, and then she'd have to re-sanitize her hands every single time. She'd be like, "Hold on, I have to take this," and she'd talk for like 20 minutes, and just God, I'd be sitting there like waiting. And then I'd look at it, and I'm like, oh, dude, "You're not even sort of close. It's like half of Gunter's head." I'd be like, "Yo, you need to like take absurd. that time off." Yeah, for yeah. Or, like it was. It not... was like one of my first tattoos. I was so just like, is this, is this like just like the normal like right. thing? Is this just how it works? Yeah. Did you tip her? Yeah. And, and did she still charge you for still her she was a dick? Did she charge you for the full session? Yeah, she charged me for like the time of it, rather right? Than, oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. Damn, that's it was fucked up. It was really How expensive. Much per hour? Uh, I mean, it must. Well, it was like two hours, and it cost me like, like, what did I say? Like, two hundred, like, yeah, one eighty, like two, yeah, one eighty or some shit like that. So I think ninety, I guess, an hour, which isn't. That's I guess that up that bad, but yeah. for a tiny little piece that should have taken twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, she was that's she was milking. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's which what is that's fine. Called. Like, just charge She's me the the, the overpriced. That don't make it take two hours. Yeah, uh, Kyle, what what's like the what's the most common question you get when people just come to you like, oh my god, did he hurt? Because you got like Does your full, hurt? you got like your which full one head. hurt the worst is is the, the most common one. Yeah, and then which one did behind hurt? that right is why are you eating Lucky Charms. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that follows it. We got right stopped after. in the grocery store today by some lady and she said, it's the weirdest thing to see two tattooed guys, which is funny because I don't even have any but one that you can't see. <laughs> she knew. And, she, she, and she's like, "Just yeah, it's funny seeing you eating a kid's cereal, essentially. Because like, okay. you look so tough. Why don't you mind your own fucking business, Deborah? <laughs> um... Anyways, what what did hurt the worst? Which tattoo did? What tattoo hurt the worst? Let's see. Um, like I'm gonna be that guy and just straight up, you know. I'd say, as like a wow factor, I'm gonna say the side of my head because I sat seven hours. Oh. I flew geez. out to Arizona to get it done. Damn. By somebody in particular because I literally love this style. Yeah. So I went out there, and um. Seven hours on your head. Yeah, he That's was like, crazy. he was like, I charge you. Did you need uh, Gatorade? Uh, dude, it was the worst ever. Yeah, I needed a lot what? more than just Gatorade, dude. <laughs> like electrolytes, you feel? He straight up was like, dude, I suggest you not take any breaks if you can just bang it out. And I was like, yeah. dude, what? I was like, I think you're crazy. There's yeah, no way I can wild. do it. Well, I wound up just taking like two breaks, dude. Yeah. 
And each of those breaks, I was in the bathroom literally prep talking myself oh, to sit back no. down. Damn. So I was like, fuck, dude. And it's full color, so it was just a lot of full saturation. It really Jeez. sucked. Well, dude, you literally just did the 116 on right. my foot. Yeah, and you, you and already that, see that. that fucking hurt. So I can't imagine the head. Like, oh, that's 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 next level. Yeah, dude, it was wild, man. Zesty, what about you? You got one tattoo, right? <laughs> one let's, tattoo. Let's hear your tattoo story. What is it? Yeah, I just got it a month ago. So, um, as you'll see on the screen, it's just <laughs> a, it a little guy that says, good set. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, no. it's, it's partially funny just because, like, as a, as a musician and growing up and playing shows, just that phrase holds this, I don't know, fake connotation right hey there's, good well, set man there's, good there's set. so much that it holds like it's, it's, like a, it's a joke what does it say awesome. good set oh nice good set dude like, <laughs> i was outside but good set. yeah 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 that's so funny. um but the, no there is actually a story that goes along with it that's here um uh, no names but um oh boy oh boy so, the tea is being spilled ladies and gentlemen yeah. oh and i fell off a cliff <laughs> um there's a band that I'm not in, but I am uh, very much a part of uh, in, in other ways. Yeah. That was out on tour, and um, it's it's a tradition for like whatever that tour's like huge moment is. Yeah. The tattoos. So mm -hmm. there's like there's a day they got 14 bucks for. Like, Right. So they all have a fourteen dollar tattoo, and um, for this one, it was so show right mm -hmm. uh, Midwest. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> so show Midwest. What happened? Let's get. Come on. Yep. So there was a show in the Midwest. Um, population wise, like very, very, very Caucasian. Uh, so much so that there's there's two black people there, okay? One of them is playing in a band, and another one is in attendance. And um, member of this band comes up to the guy after the band played and said to the guy in the crowd, "Yo, good set." He's the the dude that just played that he meant to say it to is up on stage tearing right. his gear down. Just because he's the only other dark-skinned dude. Yeah, he thought that that was right. the guy that just and, played. I mean, oh, for no. more context, like, this dude's just always, like, an airhead like that. Oh, and no. It's just an incredibly embarrassing moment. Oh, no. So. That's a good one. I enjoy that one. Good set. In fact, good you guys set. all got a tattoo of it. It's so funny. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's awesome. It, it really, that like, kind of sums up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. Not I am just the worst at this. Oh my god, so I, think, green. I think we have to ask Kyle, right? What's um, that? Your tattoo Fuck. that you, you want to... I mean, we, we asked you about which one hurt the most, right? But yeah, but yeah. what's your story? What's your story? Yeah, what, now, what's, what kind of story am I saying? Alright, what's like... Uh, do you have any, like, just... Either you tattooing or a tattoo oh, on you that's just a funny story behind it. Yeah. Like, some dude um, who did it was crazy, or like you tattooed somebody that was sketch, or... Hmm. Just a bizarre situation, maybe, like... Getting tattooed in an alley. <laughs> in an alley. Uh, oh, here you go. Um, <laughs> that actually sparked me. Yeah. It sparked me up. A weird place I got tattooed. I, I, when I was 18, just graduated high school, I wanted to tattoo. Uh huh. And I was like, what's like a super cool spot that like I can get that like now that I'm tattooing? Right. I couldn't get if I wasn't trying to tattoo, you know? Uh huh. So I got the back of my head done when I was 18. Oh man. And like went on my neck and all the way up my back, and my boy at the time who worked at the shop I apprenticed at was like dude let's just like do it at my house so we can you know really relax and you know vibe out and everything I'm sure like, right, cool cool let's do it so the one session he decides that we're gonna set up out front of his house so we literally tat he tattooed my head for eight hours the back of my head in his front yard what the fuck? Yeah, people were like walking by, like fucking taking videos and shit of it. <laughs> like it was cool in the sense of like it felt good out, like yeah. the, the breeze and stuff, but I was just like, oh, very strange. Crazy. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> very strange. Cool. What yeah. about like the weirdest person you've ever tattooed? 
do you have like a moment where you're like damn this person is like or like the weirdest tattoo you've ever done maybe all right there's like a few Ooh, what's the where we at i fucking sucked on that one i'm like <laughs> oh wow sick um weirdest person i tattooed there was this super weird dude uh-huh came in wearing like basketball shorts white t-shirt and like a long trench coat and he had slick black red hair with black glasses looking like they were like walmart glasses or something yeah and he comes walking in and i was like already i like i, th- I think i even said to my buddy i was like yo like, see if this dude comes in here like so he walks in i was like oh fuck here we go yeah and he was like hey uh, i'm here for my appointment with kyle and i was like hey what's up dude you know and we're just kind of bullshitting and i was like all right what are, what are you trying to get done today and he's like all right so don't look at me like weird or anything. But <laughs> he pulls out this like That's the this best. like line this like line book like he had when he was like a kid. A or something. scroll. Yeah, like he pulls out his scroll. No, just like right. a piece of loose leaf paper type deal. Yeah. And um or when you said line, I was picturing a design, but you meant like like college rule. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like a straight up like just like yeah, just like a piece of loose leaf paper. Okay. And um he opens up like a few pages in the only drawing in this book mind you was the one that he showed me so it was just like an empty book with this and he goes he goes i uh drew this when i was 18 when i was like really fucked up on uh, acid and i was like oh god here we go dude yeah. and he shows me it and it was like this super simplistic sun it was like in the shape of an oval like a kid's drawing sun it was literally uh, <laughs> A child's like oh my. version of a sun. It was the craziest thing. It wasn't even a circle. It was all just a little. <laughs> was it like the corner lines. of the page? And it had a, a, a smiley face in the center with a plus and a minus sign as the eyes. Uh-huh. Like I remember, like it was yesterday. It was the weirdest request. And I was like, dude, all right, what what's going on here? And he was like, well, it was like a vision I had when when That's I was on vision. acid, and I think about it all the time, and I really want it done just like this on my arm. Damn. So I literally had it trace this thing and put it on his arm it was getting to the point i was like oh maybe i shouldn't do this because yeah. like it's but he was like he waited fucking seven months for the tattoo appointment like at that time i had like a crazy crazy wait because yeah. that's all i was doing is yeah. in philly right and he waited that long and i was like dude is that really what he was like bro this is exactly how i want it and i was like all right fuck it dude, let's do it that's tight though <laughs> so at least just, he knows what he wants oh man yeah. have a he loved it, huh? dude he loved it man Wow. He cry? Uh, no, he's, he's still he's on his quest. That good, man. Right, he's still on his quest. He was on acid the whole time. He doesn't remember anything. Yeah, yeah, he was just. Austin, what's another one of yours? <clears throat> uh oh. When I was on tour in, uh, we were in Utah and our van broke down and we had to get repairs on it, so we had some time to kill and there was a local tattoo shop and it was closed, but we called the number anyway. And we're like, yo, dude, we're like, you know, we're in a band, we're here for today only. If you want to make some money, you know, that'd be cool. Like, we're here if you want to come to your shop. Like, the, it was like right outside the workshop right. where the tattoo place was. Yeah. So this this dude, like, reluctantly was like, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, sounds sick. That's, oh, I could use some money. So we, we wait for oh, like an hour and this dude shows up. And he did, uh, he did six tattoos for like 30 bucks each what the- uh, oh, for yeah. us. Just like the gnarliest hookup. And everyone's was pretty tight, but then it got down to myself and oh. my friend Cody, and you could just tell he was so over. And he's like, "Why did I fucking agree yeah. to do all these kids' tattoos for thirty bucks? It's so hot in here." Uh, <laughs> thirty bucks a piece. Right? So did I the, hear that right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is the, the the best part. So I got a smash ball on my leg from Super Smash Bros. Yeah. And uh, he went to like. I sent him that I told him what the image was and he went to go look it up and he pulls up his computer tab and he clicks the wrong tab and there's just a fuck ton of just BDSM porn <laughs> up on his computer. No. And he just with like not like shameful or panicky, he just goes and off, off clicks to the other tab and then Googles it. Doesn't say anything to us. That's We're so all funny. like over his shoulder. You know, like, yeah, it's like type in smash ball and he's like hardcore BDSM. It was like, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it love was, it. Fucking awkward, and he also was the heaviest handed tattoo artist I've ever. Oh, had dude, the the, the, the guy in Florida who did my little pumpkin skeleton guy. Mm-hmm. Oh man, dude, it dude. is crazy. The it was like a. In, it literally just felt like dead arm. Just oh, like, 
It was like a some four and a half. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he, was, like, he was even talking about how like, oh yeah, when some people are just like giving me shit, I'll just turn that shit up to like 11 and just push down real hard until they shut up. It's like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I said, shit. yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the guy in Florida. I mean, he he wasn't terrible, but it he was. It's dark. Like he pushed hard. But, yeah. You got to go a certain depth, you know, for it to. Oh, totally. And it, I mean, I know it like stays longer, right? Like the more you. Yeah. Like, well, there's a limit. Yeah. There's for definitely sure. a limit, dude. For sure. Yeah. I vibe with that. So what's up? That's probably. It's probably good. Session, yeah. It's probably good. good. Do a little outro. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. On this fucking stupid Who screen. won? Who won? I don't even. I, I was the, eighth every yeah. time, dude. I swear really? to God. Um, I don't. I got fourth on that last good. lap. Yeah, I don't know. That was like the closest first. I got. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I did pretty good. It came back. Yeah. I started finally getting it towards the end. There, the first like three like rounds, I was fucked. I think we need to have one last banger. All right, boys. This is it. This is for the cup. This is this for is the, the belt. Cup, this guys. is for the cup. This is for the plate. This is for the uh, bragging the ancestors. The and the crumbs. Oh, I fucking missed the boost. <laughs> it's it, it's the first boot boost I've missed, and it's important this time. Right. I'm going to be eighth again, I know. I suck at racing games, dude. It was Street Fighter for me, and RPGs. That, why haven't we, that's it. Why haven't we fought in Street Fighter? Dude, I don't yeah, know. you guys need to. That seems pretty good. Oh. I'm not sure. I, mine was Street Fighter Alpha 3. That was my shit. I'll, I'll, I'll take any. You'll take any? Yeah, okay, you, yeah. I mean, I prefer... Third strike and, and four, but yeah, I mean I'm down. We can do a classic. Oh my god, that's oh, such man, a sharp dude, turn. Yeah, this this hairpin oh, wow. is the, the dude. What is up with that? There's like no way of making that turn. Oh my Can you god. Imagine them putting this on NASCAR. People <laughs> 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 just, just <laughs> die. <laughs> oh my, I'm eighth. See, told you. At least I'm consistent. I may not be good, but you can always count on me to be somewhere. I've never had an, an honest. <laughs> You can always count on me to be somewhere. You can always count on me to be alive. You're right. I'm always where I'm at. You know, it's see Zesty gets it. I've never heard from an honest NASCAR fan that they're they're not just in it for the crashes. I mean, that seems to be like the allure, right? But like so you go you to see a crash, right? Like, well, because <laughs> you don't want to kill people. No, but yeah, but just a circle. Maybe induce a, a few more yeah. crashes. Like, you can't be that obvious in wanting to see people make die. Make it a square. You have to be a little bit more conspicuous. Inconspicuous? I don't know the word. Inconspicuous. Inconspicuous. Thank you. Yeah, you need to be in suspicious. That's what you need. Popping dog in my ass. Bro. That's me, dude. <laughs> I think I've seen that video. <laughs> Fuck, come on, dude, you dicky. Dicky. Dicky, oh my god, these turns suck. Oh no, great. I'm TNT, Dynamite, TNT, and I'll lose the fight. Dude. Oh no, I got the TNT on my ball. I'm saying we all jump over to Smash right now, and it'll be a different type of game for I'm telling you, man. Yeah. I'm telling you what, bro. Come on, Diggies. 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 It's a real. You're holding up the back. Oh my gosh, dude. dude I'm saying, I'm always where I'm at, you know? That's all I can ever be, is just always where I'm at. I mean, I know everyone is kind of just always where they're at, but, you know what I mean? It's metaphorical. I don't know things, okay? It's metaphorical, Please stop dude. Stop blowing me up. I'm sorry. Would you rather me blow you down? Yes. Blow you around? Around town. I'll blow you away. I don't deserve a missile shot. See, look at me. I'm like grinding through the grass. Just. This... How long is this missile gonna chase me for? Oh it's been like a fucking minute. <laughs> You're too fast. Fuck okay. God damn it, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Dick okay. okay. I have it's not crossed the finish the line in four yeah. matches. I did not cross the finish line because it was like, nope. You're just last. You don't have to cross. That's how bad I did the How entire does it feel time. Being dead ass, dude. <laughs> Great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Check out Kyle. Oh. He's a dope tattoo artist. Oh. Love you guys. Peace. Don't check out Zesty. <laughs> check out Zesty. He's a dope oh, dude. Lord. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Checked out his new band, uh, Grave Digger, is it? Grave Digger. Grave, yeah. Digger. Grave Digger. At Grave Digger.